What is up guys, welcome to my first GameMaker 8.1 light tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some things on how to create a platformer in the light edition. So let's get started. So first we're going to click on the sprite option. Let's just load a sprite real quickly. Um, let's pick an animated one. Look for an explorer. There we go. Explorer left strip. This is him walking left. That's going to need to walk right first, so I'm just going to mirror it horizontally. There we go. Just going to name the sprites. Sprite explorer left. Right. Crap. <laughs> Sprite explorer right. And click on the object button, the little blue, blue circle. And name this object, object explorer. And have it as a sprite sprite explorer right. Add event and the create event. We need some, some code here. All light all, all light edition code, so don't worry. Uh, image speed equals zero and image index equals zero. Now image speed just means that the speed of that sprite is zero, so it's not gonna be animating until we want it to. Image index equals zero is because if you don't put that the, if you don't put that, then the image index is just going to carry on and it's going to it's going to slow down the speed a lot. So you just need to put that every single time. So now it's going to start on that sprite, him just there. Remember to center the sprite, as I didn't do. And then the step event. That right, is what you're going to put. If keyboard check direct odd a no odd d and then put some braces there right if keyboard check direct odd d this is basically saying if d is being held not if it's being pressed if it's being held so now you need to put h speed equals 3 and that just means that it's going to be horizontally going 3 pixels every single frame to the right. So now if you want to copy that and just paste it underneath. Keyboard check direct A and the H speed equals minus 3. And that means that if when you press when you hold the A key, it's going to go minus 3 pixels to the left. And now you're just going to put to make, well, these make it go left and right, but it doesn't stop it if you let go. Now what we're going to put now, if e keyboard check released odd D and then H speed equals zero. And that will make, that will make it stop. If it's released D, then it'll stop. But not for A, so I need to do copy and paste that and just change that to A as well. Right, this obviously isn't done yet because I haven't got any blocks to stand on, we haven't done gravity or anything. So, but let's just see how, how it's going so far. In fact, I haven't put the image speeds in. I'm so sorry. And that I need to put image speed equals 0.5. And what this does is normally it will be running at one, and I think that's pretty much too fast, like at all. And I think that's 0.5 or close to 0.5 in my in my opinion. So just point at 0.5, and it'll be going to the right. And it's the same for this one as well. Image speed equals 0.5. There we go. Now, we're in, now what you want to put? In the in here is sprite index equals sprite explorer left. And we're just going to create that sprite now. So let's duplicate this sprite and call it sprite explorer left. And edit the sprite, mirror flip. And then move horizontally, and that's going left. Just 
can edit some of this here. Sprite index equals sprite explore right. Alright, and now for the released ones, you need to put image speed equals zero, image index equals zero. So we don't want him stopped in a running stance, so you have to put image index equals zero and put the image speed equals zero so the animation stops. That needs to be released, by the way. I'll copy and paste over that. So now the animation should work from right to left. Yep, there we go. Stops completely. There's my audio audacity there. Um, so now I'll create another sprite. I'm going to put sprite block because obviously we need something to stand up. It can't just be floating unless that's what you want. But load a sprite. I'm pretty sure it's called block, isn't it? No. Okay. Let's look for it now. Wall block. There we go. And this is going to be our block to stand on. So, okay, remember to center it all, all the time. It just gets really fiddly if you don't. You have to go through all the sprites and center them. It's really annoying. An object block. Now remember to change the sprite to sprite block because that's really important. Um, I think we need a create event for this, do we? We just need it to be solid. Right, make sure it's always solid. This is very, very important because if it's not solid, then your guy will just go straight through it. Alright, so here's to make it a little easier for you. Instead of all the code, you can put in the collision with ob with object block because I find it a little easier. I can do it in code. You know, I think it's easier here. So now here, um, V speed equals zero, and then X equals X previous, Y equals Y previous. V speed equals zero. Make sure that it's not going up or down. V speed is the vertical speed, not the horizontal speed. X and Y are your coordinates. X equals X previous means that X is the previous X. If you go left and you stop and you collide with it, then it'll go back. And the same with Y and Y. So now that should be solid as well. And I think it should work. Let's just put some random blocks here. There we go. Now it's working. Right. The one last thing that I want to do is add some jumping. So first what we want to do is add the gravity, which is here. Gravity equals 1 and gravity direction equals 270. Just bring it over there. Alright, so gravity equals 1 is basically the power of the gravity. If it's, say... 0.5 it'll be sort of like halo style where it'll be you jump higher you know and 1.5 would be you jump lower gravity direction is the direction of your gravity so you can actually make gravity go five to the left to the right up as well as the essential down all angles start to the right so 270 degrees in the counterclockwise direction ends up going down um, I suppose you could do minus 90, but I wouldn't. That's just my little preference there for you. There you go. And in the block, in the collision with the object block, you would put if keyboard check pressed. Right, you can do this either way. You can either put VK space, which is the space bar, or you can put, you know, or W. I'm going to show you both ways. So you can put or and then, and then, oh, I forgot bracket there. Right, that's the set. That's what I like to do. But you can, if you're pretty confused by this, you can put just VK space, and that's it. So I'm just going to put my way back. There we go. And then put in the brackets. V speed 
minus equals nine. I did put nine because it's a good way of showing jumping. Because I think this is a little too high, but you know, it's a good way to show it. So now, oh, why is it not solid? This isn't gonna work, I think. Yeah, there we go. Jumping, 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 jumping. You can see the animation of the walking. It's still playing as it's jumping, but you can stop that because there is some extra. There's some extra sprites in the little sprite package that you get with the Game Maker 8.1 Lite Edition. I'll put a download to the Game Maker 8.1 Lite Edition in the description, so you can try it out for yourselves. If you don't have it, you just scroll along some videos. Um, in the next episode of this basic of these basic tutorials, I will show you how to put that sprite on, and I'll show you some you know awesome stuff. So until then, see you later guys, bye.